Good morning. How are you? You well? Welcome. Um, nice uh, shave, hopefully. Uh, welcome to Wednesday and hope uh, the week is good for you so far. Thank you, Mrs. H. Um, this is the back of the cupboard shave for me. Some very, uh, a lot of products, a couple I haven't, but a lot of products which I used um, a lot in the beginning, starting out shaving, wet shaving, regularly. Um, one being the the classic Arco soap, and it's in the big shave, it says there somewhere, the big shave scuttle, Steve Farragher. Um, just as it, you know, I've always, this soap stays in here, it lives in here, so it's, uh, I'm going to use that. It has had a bit of water on top of it. Um, which should have helped, which should help. Uh, razor of choice is going to be uh, this thing, the Boots, Boots the Chemist uh, standard uh, double-edged razor. Um, it cost about £4, I think they were. Don't sell them now. Head heavy, plastic handle, and like I've said before, they're very much like the Gillette 7 o'clock. These. You can buy, these are made in India. Um, as you can see, they're very similar, but I've got one out here. There is a difference between them. Um, if you look at the Boots the Chemist, this one has a two sort of notches there, which the blade sits on on the head, and then you screw it together. And there's a small diamond just under the where it screws in. I don't know if you can see that. But this one has a larger diamond, if you can see. Um, and the this here is slightly different to that but on the on the whole it's about a millimeter the Gillette seven o'clock is about a millimeter <laughs> taller than this one uh, but otherwise they're much the same much the same um, and that's the nearest you'll get to a boots one these days I think so just thought I'd show you the differences um, so I'm going to use that Inside, this is a three-piece non-adjustable. Inside there, we're going to use the Gillette Super Thin Blade, and this will be its uh, number two on the die, so it's number th its third use in there. It's quite an aggressive razor, this, believe it or not. It has a bite to it. You've got to be careful. You can see the, the gap there. It's, uh, and there is overhang to be aware of. So that's the soap. Uh, the brush... Again, one of my first purchases of a decent brush, the Simog 830 Ball Brush. That's been soaking in warm water there. So that's that. Um, what I'm going to do is lather up this... Um, well, I'm going to do it now. We're going to lather this soap up. It doesn't take long. Well, it's moved off the bottom, it doesn't matter. Excellent soap this. It's very very standard, but it does the job. And I just seen another, as I say this is going to the back of the shave den, the cupboard where I don't use much. Um, and I've seen it a few things, so I thought I'll add a bit of that to it. So how's it going for you, all right? I hope so. There we go. So what I'm going to do there now is this. I'm going to add some Arco shaving cream. No need to do it, but I thought I'd do it just to use it up a bit. And all I'll do is that. Like coffee in it, wasn't it? There we go, lovely. Mix it all up. It'll add to the creaminess, like baking a cake here. Yeah? That'll do. Right, rinse the face. I'm going to use a pre shave. Didn't have this in the beginning, this is one item. Uh, which I didn't have, and that's the uh, Phoenix article, the, the Cube, this is the pre-shave soap, non, um, 
non-mentholated, so I always dip this side in. And it'll turn your beard dark. I think there's charcoal in it. Again, there's no need for this. But it's different. Good stuff. There we go. We'll do that. We're clear, yeah. We'll leave that on. That's that. And we'll apply the lather straight on. Look at this. Good idea. So if you've got some soaps, maybe a basic soap, and you have a cream, like palm olive, use a shave stick, and then add a bit of cream. So it's just different, and it? it's just uh, And as you can see, it does a fantastic job very quickly. Let's see if we can. St oh, it's too late. I'm going to say, let's stay clear. Not so bad. Then we've had a bit of a just heat the boots of chemist up. We've had a bit of a sort of stormy, windy, rainy uh, few days. And it's gone much cooler, found uh, much, much cooler now. So winter is here <laughs> and the clocks have gone back so last uh, Sunday so here we go first pass super blade by the way Whiskers everywhere. Um, and someone asked about the uh, Global Shave Club, the fat guy, which is a replica of the fat boy razor. Uh, are you going to be trying it? No. Now, I wasn't sure they were going to send one out with them being, a, I think, they're a limited edition or something. It's only about 300 as they made or something like that. Um, but we are. I've had an email off uh, Sheldon to say it's on its way. That's very kind. Look forward to trying that. I'll um, probably show it on camera against the original for you to see. Wow, nice first pass. Good grief, some whiskers coming out of there. Right. Oh, it's excellent slickness. You've got the, the cube, which leaves a lovely slickness, I believe, from the start through shaves when I've used it before. Um, Arco, I find slick anyway, but this helps the pre-shave. That pre-shave's helped. And of course the shaving cream, so it's different. 
It's the same sort of scent as the soap anyway, the cream. What's your shave today then? Shave of the day. If you're having one today. Nice to go back. Yeah, I remember buying them. Luckily, um, I bought a few of these when they were out in case they did one day stop and they did. Second pass across the goal. And so far, so good. As I say, for what it is, it's uh, I'd class it as aggressive, but the low end of aggressive. Um, you know, no any mark a future of R forty one anything like that, but uh, you can you can probably hear it as well. But it has to be said that blade performing lovely on a third use, and it really smooths the aggression out. So it feels. It feels nice and it's around now you feel well I feel after this on the second third and especially pickups that's when you feel the aggression really because you've you got the protection of your whiskers and on the first pass so it's not so bad and then the second pass they've most of them are gone and then you're getting closer and closer which is the aim of the of the job isn't it to get the close shave as you can get this Superb stuff. So how's life treating you this week, all right? Look at that, not long at all. Eh? Not long at all. Kept relatively uh, tidy through the, <laughs> through the shade. Just a bit on the collar. Here we go. Against the growth. Boots the chemist. Three piece. Basic. Double edged razor. Non adjustable. He was in a Gillette. Super thin. Double edged blade. And it's third use. Like a knife through butter. Here we go. And this year I am doing the Movember. So 1st of uh, November are the nearest date to it, shave-wise. 
I'm going to grow a goatee again for the month of November in in honour of people who've lost their lives to cancer. Uh, it's awareness as well, that's the main thing, is awareness and uh, it's mainly for uh, male prostate cancer and stuff like that. Yeah. So we're doing that. Any of you doing it? You know, even if you don't film shaves, I mean, as a... Um, it's not everybody's um, forte, shall we say? Shaving or non-shaving. Uh, I must say though, I do become attached to it, I quite like it once it starts growing and but I'm always glad to as well to get rid of it so it's half and half it's like a by the end it's like a love hate I love it and I want to get rid of it because <laughs> I miss the shaving of it but um yeah that's lovely that that's what we like so far three two one pick up time baby We've got no chorus or choir today, I'm afraid. Yeah, she'll call me a lion and stuff. Wailing. She did do it earlier on. But uh, no idea why. She must have thought, stuff you, I'm not doing any of your videos <laughs> anymore. Here we go. Pick up time, baby. Look at that. Do you know what I've done? What is <laughs> I've picked the Gillette up. There's no blade in it. Come on, you must have seen that. <laughs> I've done that before, you know, in a shave. I'm not sure if I did I put it up. I was an outtake. Started shaving. I thought, God, this isn't, uh, this feels smooth. <laughs> no blade in it. Have you done it? You must have done it. Or if you haven't, you wait. <laughs> I wonder how many people would have edited that out. It's all part of the film. It's real life. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself at it. Laugh or cry, one or the other. Bit here now. Listen to this. Beautiful. Rinse off with cold Welsh water and then we're going to say hello to Alan. Right, keep the face wet. Say hello to Alan. Little bit of feedback, nothing much. That's lovely. Excellent. And I'll rinse that and uh, polish it later. It always it lasts longer for me when I do that with the alum. So rinse again. Fantastic. Oh, very nice. Uh. That's 
so very pleased with that very basic razor as I say not the best quality or anything it was just made to do the job and exactly what it did and you can see you can get a very smooth close comfortable shave and then I'm going to use Arco uh, Gold Power not used that for a long long time this will hurt I bet <laughs> they're very strong these uh, I think this is based on the 1 million scent isn't it I, I believe so oh no not bad I thought it'd be a bit of a stronger sting a lot of alcohol in them gorgeous scent but I wish it lasted it don't last that long so if you just like a sort of couple of hours two or three hours maximum that'll do you but um, they don't last that long right and then something I've not used for a long long time as I say back of the drawer job Astral um, original cream just a very Nivea-ish yeah there's a cross between Nivea and the uh, thicker Arco um, in texture or it could be that it's um, a few years old but it uh, feels nice beautiful wow and that's what we look like like I say many times it won't make you good looking but it'll make you feel damn good <laughs> and that's what life's about so we've used we nearly used the Gillette 7 o'clock with no blade but we've used the Boots the Chemist standard uh, three-piece non-adjustable uh, razor very head heavy metal plastic hollow handle um, with a Gillette super thin uh, third use for the blade perfect lovely really made it feel very smooth as I say this for me is a very low end aggression in aggressiveness but it's there and but very comfortable very smooth we've used the Phoenix Artisan accoutrements the original cube pre-shave good stuff really nice the Simog 830 bore brush had that many years and somebody said they were getting one of these I think um, good brush but I would recommend if you get a bore brush lather it in a nice scented soap a few times before use and that'll help if it's a bit smelly sort of uh, wet pig smell if you like it can smell sometimes but um, wasn't so bad with mine and the more you use it the better it gets in my opinion um, we've used the big shave scuttle which always houses the if you can see the bottom there the Arco soap we've added some Arco cream and it worked lovely soap and cream just really thickened it up lovely slickness rinse with water alum block Arco gold power cologne an astral original cream to protect this little delicate face <laughs> anyway <I'll, laughs> silly thanks for watching I hope you have some fantastic shaves stay safe happy if you can look after yourselves have some great shaves and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave take care